With some early sunshine and a strong southwesterly wind, our temperatures got into the middle 80s this afternoon. And this is just a preview of what's to come over the next couple of days. We are expecting some triple digit feels like temperatures by the time we get into Monday. It's just going to be a brutal stretch of days. In fact, I haven't seen a seven day forecast this warm in quite a long time. Potentially some of the warmest stretch we'll see all year. Now we do have high pressure to the south of us dry currently, but our dew points will be on the increase. And we do have a frontal system that's actually going to dive to the south of us. So we're not expecting any rain over the weekend and into Monday, and those are going to be the hottest two days we've seen in quite a long time. In fact, our satellite and radar shows a couple of passing clouds right now. We'll quickly clear out heading into this evening. I do expect all of us to see the stars for this evening, and that uh, system off in the Great Lakes, that's going to dive to our south and not pose any threat to us. We do have a ridge building in, and what that means is warmer temperatures, especially for Monday. Cloudy skies right now. We cloud it up pretty quickly. It's almost a saving grace, if you will, because it's actually keeping the temperatures from going even higher from what we've seen past the uh, middle 80s. You can see our next rain chance after we get through the next couple of days is actually on Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday. We're hot for Monday. A front passes through Monday night into Tuesday. That's going to be our chance for rain, and we desperately need the rain. We'll get to that in just a second. 65 in town for an overnight low, 50s, upper 50s for the suburbs, and mostly clear skies. And we're going to start out with the sunshine tomorrow and keep that in the forecast the entire day as we get back to near 90 degrees. We'll call it upper 80s to near 90, especially inland along the coastline, middle to low 70s, especially as you go out into the Outer Cape, 72 for P-Town, 72 for Nantucket, 80 degrees for downtown Boston, still above average for this time of year. Tomorrow, the dew point isn't that high, so we're still somewhat comfortable. It's going to be a summer-like day, uh, but not oppressive humidity. That arrives for Monday, and when you factor in some of these humidity values for Monday, look at this, 97 for Boston, 97 for Bedford, 98 for Lawrence. So we have these almost 100-degree temperatures, but when you factor in dew points that are uh, that high, we're going to be talking about some really high heat indices. 97 is the forecast. That would crush the record of 94, and we expect a tie there for Worcester of 93. So potentially record heat. When you factor in that record heat with that humidity, you're talking about some triple-digit heat indices, especially into the Merrimack Valley and also into the Connecticut River Valley. Those are going to be the best chances for the highest feels like temperatures, but don't be surprised if Boston, you hit that 100 degree mark, not necessarily a place you want to be <laughs> for sure. And notice the place to be would be the Cape, the islands. Those are going to be the most comfortable places. I wonder if a lot of people are going to be calling out of work on Monday and maybe hitting the road to go to the Cape and the islands. That's definitely going to be more comfortable than inland. Now we do have that passing shower chance as we go into Monday. The better chance is going to be in the afternoon and evening. You see a few waves of showers. This is Monday at 11 p.m. This would be well received by the ground because we haven't seen more than a trace of rain in Boston in the last 10 days, and that's a full inch below average. And even the last 30 days have been well below average, and that is why our drought monitor is showing such dry conditions as you go into coastal Maine, into really the heart of New Hampshire, and north and west of Boston, almost into Boston, seeing some of those dry conditions, certainly through Worcester County and Middlesex County. So we'll be watching this, but we're baking in this seven day forecast, so don't be surprised if Thursday morning when that new drought monitor comes out, you see an expanded view drought may be officially returning to Massachusetts for the first time this year. So Sunday, we're at 90, Monday, 97, a little bit cooler along the coastline. It's going to be hot and humid. Chance for a thunderstorm as you go into the afternoon and evening. Tuesday, We'll take a step back, back into the middle 80s, and we're cooking for the rest of the week. Look at that, 86 Wednesday, 84 Thursday, and look at next Saturday, almost 90 degrees again next Saturday. 